Hey, what's up, you guys? Time is back with another Linsen's video. Today is the Christmas edition, but before I get into that, just want to say thank you guys again. It means a lot to be playing on those electronic devices. Today is the day that you probably cracked open that big screen TV or maybe even that new laptop, maybe that new tablet, and now you have nothing to watch because, hey, you know when you get those new things, you got to start putting all those little uh, codes in and all this other stuff, but... You could just go straight to YouTube and just watch me. You don't got to put all the codes and stuff like that in there, okay? So, uh, but again, with that being said, thank you guys. It means a lot to be playing on those electronic devices. And again, today is the x Miss edition, the Christmas edition. And um, again, everybody be thankful for what you got. Be thankful if, even if you didn't get much, look at that dog's messing with the tripod. Be thankful for everything. And again, remember... No, no, no. Do not let the Grinch steal any kind of joy that you have today, okay? Today is a joyful day. Every day is a joyful day, to be honest. But with that being said, let's finally get into this fragrance. And today, with it being the Christmas edition, we are going to crack this open like it is Christmas, okay? This is one of those fragrances from Intense Oud, okay? This is one of those fragrances that has been sitting in that corner right there. Okay, see? Got some stuff lined up. Some Zara's right here. We got some, uh... uh we gotta eat. <sighs> I'll do a review on this one eventually. But this is, uh, Mason Alhambra's Fortnite. You guys don't know what that's probably a thing of. But we got a few little things over in that corner. But I just went with this one. This one looks well, uh, wrapped. Well packaged. So I went with this one. Again, from Intense Ooh, that store in... Lombard, Illinois. It's probably right outside of Chicago. Who knows? But um, again, with that New Orleans Saints uh, labels on there, it looks like the New Orleans Saints. But anyways, let's finally get into this. Man, again, hey, if you guys are new to this channel, um, guys like what you see. Uh, maybe you enjoy watching these unedited videos, the straight raw form that it comes in. Hey, Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and you'll be notified every single time I put up a new video. So, let's finally get into that. Damn, nipples are all hard and shit. Let's try to keep those nipples out of the video for a little bit. There we go. Oh, they're still in there just a little bit. But, hey, who cares? It's all unedited. Remember that. Unedited. There is no cool cameraman in these videos that's telling me to stop or not stop. This is all me right here, you guys. So here we go. Let's open this bad boy up, see what is inside. Okay, we got a Swiss Arabian in the house. And this is that Shagaf. Shagaf. Shagaf? Shagaf. Shagaf by Swiss Arabian. Go check them out, SwissArabian.com. Um, that is that uh, S-A-B-G uh, group. I think it's that. It's one of those things, but here we go. Another, yep, yeah, SAPG, Swiss Arabian Perfume Group. I'm assuming that G is for group, but here we go. Look at that bottle. Pretty cool little bottle. Looks kind of like a fence, a part of the fence, but overall, nice little box. Man, when the light hits it, even though it's just cardboard, it looks pretty nice. Yeah, look at that nice box. Damn, dogs are pushing over the tripod. Look at this. Can't even. Do a video without the dogs being crazy. So, there we go. That VS up at the top. Or is, what is that? Or is that is it supposed to be that way? It's like Swiss Arabian? I don't know. Here we go. Let's finally get into this bad boy. Now, I do not know anything about the notes on this one, okay? This is just straight up winging it. Wing it, wing it. Wing it for Christmas, okay? This is what it's all about. Being surprised. Is what it's all about. Christmas is all about being surprised. So here we go. Nice box. Took the wrapper off, as you guys can see. Yes, this is a brand new bottle. Oh man, I am digging that bottle straight off the back. I like that they kept that kind of like fancy uh, look on the glass as well. Okay, kind of looks like a fence, or you just want to say X's whatnot, but kind of reminds me of a fence, chain link fence. Got the chain link fence up at the top of the uh, the cap as well. There goes that AS or SA for Swiss Arabian. Dogs are ripping up the paper. Look at this, man. 
Now, looking at this bottle, and I do like it. There's a batch code down there, okay? Looking at this bottle, this screams, it kind of looks like it's going to be screaming a uh, maybe summer, spring, maybe kind of woody, earthy type fragrance. Maybe even classy, if you will. Uh, but overall, bottle is very nice. I think this is a 3.4 ounce or 100 ml. Maybe it could be smaller, 75 ml. So you're looking at about 2.5 ounce. Okay, so there we go. Let's finally spray it away. A little disappointed with the cap. Cap seemed like it was going to be super heavy, but it's actually kind of light. So, again, if you guys remember the last video I did, kind of said, like, man, sometimes those caps kind of, sometimes when those caps are, like, super heavy, it kind of lets you know that the stuff on this inside of this bottle is going to be nice. Those heavy caps, I don't know what it is, but it just seems that way. Every time I open up a fragrance with the heavy cap, Always oh, seems like it's a really good fragrance. But here we go. Shagaf. 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 That's where we're going to go with Shagaf. Over here, nothing. So here we go. Try to not spray the dogs. Ooh, nice sprayer, too. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Ooh. Nice and fruity in the air. Nice and fruity in the air. Ooh. Fruity, kind of super fruity up in the air. Sweet, kind of getting like this maybe herbiness, maybe some kind of herb or something like that. But definitely sweet and fruity. So here we go. So it's like citrusy, fruity, fresh. Almost has like this fresh, musky almost fresh linen smell underneath everything once you get past like the fruits the sweetness that citrus kind of smells like it has that fresh linen type smell okay man the citrus actually you know up in the air you really didn't get that much i didn't really think of it that citrusy like up in the air what i thought it was just like fruity and sweet but when you get closer you really start getting the whiffs of that citrus and the citrus Smells very good, you guys. It's like very high quality citrus right here, okay? Maybe some lemon, maybe some lime, maybe a little bit of, or bergamot, maybe a little bit of, almost kind of has like a sweetness to it, almost like a sugared lemon or lime or bergamot, what you will, okay? By the way, what? Have you guys ever seen bergamot in the grocery stores or have you ever had a, uh, went to the, restaurant and ask for a side of bergamot with your water see what they say on that okay so i'm just wondering what the i've never seen the bergamot in in person maybe go to like the asian supermarket or something like that maybe a world mart maybe we'll see that but it's definitely got this woodiness now it's kind of more like a it's like one of those light woods maybe like a sandalwood it doesn't have that like super duper creaminess that you get from sandalwood most of the time but there's definitely some kind of woods, maybe some sandalwood, maybe some, uh, maybe we got some cedar in here. Maybe a slight spice. Now, I'm not sure if it's like maybe a, a cinnamon or maybe nutmeg or saffron like that. But like right when you take that real, really deep breath, it almost has like this cinnamony, spicy saffron smell. So... What I'm getting is like woody, citrusy, fruity, sweet. Again, in the air, fruity and sweet. When you get close, citrusy, woody, spicy, okay? Man, but this kind of screams to me a warmer weather type fragrance, especially if you're going to wear this outdoors. You can wear this to the office, okay? It's not going to offend anybody, okay? A little bit of that sweetness up in the air. It wasn't overly sweet. It wasn't doing it too much, so... Don't worry about offending people with this one, okay? You might not want to go too heavy with it, but even if you did, it's not to the point where it's going to choke people out. It's not that type of fragrance, okay? Now that, kind of like what I said, that sandalwood sometimes has that little bit of creaminess to it. The creaminess is kind of, seems like a creaminess is starting to creep on up in this fragrance a little bit. Creamy, woody, slightly spicy again, some citrus in here. But overall, warmer weather fragrance, okay? This would be a nice fragrance just to kind of go about your day, okay? Going to the mall, 
going to Walmart, going to Target, doing some of your shopping, running your errands. Maybe you're going to a nice little uh, wine bar with the wife. You may be going out to get a little bit of lunch. This screams kind of like a date, a uh, day date type fragrance, okay? Day date, day errands, whatever, but like daytime fragrance, okay? With that being said, not a gym fragrance or anything like that. Definitely, you can wear this into the office as well. You can wear this. Honestly, you can wear whatever fragrance you want for whatever situation. I'm just kind of giving you what where I would wear this, okay? I definitely wouldn't wear this on like a sexy date night. This isn't definitely a super duper cuddly fragrance. It's not like that. This is more of just a daytime day date, if you will, going to that winery, going to that brewery, whatever you will, going out to the stores, running those errands. This is the type of fragrance for that, okay? You got some citrus, you got some woods, you got some slight spices in here. Fruity, fresh up in the air, but overall, this is a dang good fragrance, and I'm definitely excited to wear this, especially in the summertime, the springtime, when it starts warming up. Man, good thing for us Midwesterners, we're so used to it being like in the teens right now, but man, it has been lovely this month. Man, I think I'm looking outside right now, and it looks like it's almost 50 degrees, so I probably could wear this today. Probably won't, but I probably could. But it does look nice outside. Beautiful weather. Look at that. Got this good uh, natural sunlight on me. Don't have to have one of those little ring things and stuff like that. Don't have to have that cameraman flashing his light at me. But anyways, Swiss Arabian Shagaf. This one is a keeper. So with that being said, if you guys enjoyed that video, if you guys like what you see, hit the likes, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Yeah.